Hi, my name is Olivia Stankwitz. My topic is mental illness and teens. We will talk about the effects and impact that mental illness have on teens today. We will learn about the real impacts of mental illness. It can be difficult to tell whether or not a teen is struggling with a mental illness or just going through normal teen angst. Because of this, many teens with mental illness are not taken seriously. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, nearly 80% of teens have a mental illness that goes untreated. I have personally de dealt with mental illness in my teenage years and know what teens actually go through when it comes to struggle seeking care as an adolescent. Many illnesses, mental illness in teens is a very serious topic that commonly gets disregarded. We will talk about the different kinds of mental illnesses that teens face. We will talk about symptoms that coincide with these mental illnesses. Lastly, we will talk about the steps ne that need to be taken to help these teens get help and break past the stigma surrounding mental illness. Oftentimes, teens struggle with mental illness and won't or even can't reach out for help. These types of mental illnesses that teens face can be anything from generalized anxiety disorder to major depressive disorder. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the four most common mental illnesses among teens are anxiety, depression, ADHD, and eating disorders. Depression includes prolonged, unexplainable feelings of hopelessness and sadness. ADHD causes great difficulty to sufferers when it comes to paying attention and staying still. Anxiety disorders cause constant feelings of rest restlessness and discomfort. Eating disorders involve either eating too much or too little food to an extreme degree. On top of dealing with the stigma surrounding mental illness and struggling to receive care, teens have to deal with the symptoms of their mental illness as well. Most mental, mental illnesses are comprised of both emotional and physical symptoms. Some symptoms that occur with anxiety are large amounts of worrying, feeling restless, trouble concentrating, and irritability, just to name a few. Having an anxiety disorder is much more than feeling a little anxious about normal, everyday tasks. Depression symptoms include, but are not limited to, prolonged feelings of intense sadness, a decrease in energy, changes in sleep patterns, and changes in appetite. Depression is not just feeling sad from time to time. Some symptoms of ADHD are difficulty focusing, mood swings, short temper, and difficulty coping with stress. Many people degrade ADHD and claim to have it if they get distracted sometimes, but it is a legitimate and serious illness. There are some similar symptoms between underweight and overweight eating disorders. Some of them are noticeable changes in weight, stomach cramps, trouble concentrating, and problems with sleep. Teens that have mental illness and live with many of these symptoms have to deal with hormones, relationships, and school as well. When it comes to dealing with and treating mental disorders, the first step that many people take is to see a family physician. A physician will direct the next steps of treatment. For anxiety, the treatment can any, be anything from medication to therapy. For depression, the treatment can be medication, therapy, or in severe cases, being placed into a mental hospital. Most time, the treatment for ADHD is as simple as medication. Eating disorders tend to be treated by therapy or placement in a mental hospital to be closely monitored and help until they've recovered. These treatments, while helpful, can still cause trouble for the teen. Medications can have intense side effects, therapy is expensive and can cause a financial burden on the family and then guilt for the teen. Many institutions are costly and can also set a teen back in school. While there are many forms of help and care for mental illness, the majority of teens go untreated. It can be difficult to tell whether or not a teen is struggling with mental illness or just going through normal teen angst. We have discussed many research figures that explain the struggles that teens go through when it comes to dealing with mental illness. We also have shown the steps that can be taken to help teens through these difficult illnesses. In conclusion, I appreciate your time and attention and hope that these statistics and facts were able to help shed light on the issue that is plaguing today's teens. I hope I was able to break the stigma for those of you here. Thank you.